Alright, so uh, an error that has been popping up just happened to me like uh, today or yesterday uh, is that, um, well, uh, the system was corrupted. Uh, decided to turn it on. Uh, a message came up that said, uh, your file system is corrupted. Uh, you couldn't exit out of it. Uh, you had to press X. And uh, every time uh, the X, X was pressed, um, it would complete, it would go to 100%, then the screen would go black. After that, it was supposed to restart, but uh, it never did. Uh, so there was a black screen. Uh, stayed there for a while. Uh, if you wait like 20, 30 minutes, it'll go, uh, it'll, the system will turn off, but it will, it will not turn back on. Uh, once you turn it on manually, uh, the same thing will happen. And first order of business uh, to fix that error is you want to go into safe mode to go into safe mode all you have to do is hold um, the power button down this works for all PSPs you, uh, you you initially do it and you keep holding it you will hear a beep five seconds after the first beep and uh, you should hear another beep after that and the system should turn off uh, almost as if nothing happened it should take like uh, so remember three beeps system turns off then you start it again and hold it to hear another beep and this time where the third beep should have been uh, you will hear two beeps and uh, once you hear two beeps you should come up to this menu you would need you will need a cable it'll ask you to connect a controller with with the cable and once you do that it'll give you these options um, to fix the, uh, normally the one you want to use is number three uh, the restore file system that should uh, fix it um, again I had issues uh, none of these options would work for me it would just say preparing and it would never prepare I even left it overnight uh, for 12 hours woke up the next day it was still doing it so if, if, if that's happening to you I tried this this one this one and I tried 3 4 and 6 both had uh, the same issue where it would never prepare it says preparing for operation or something like that and then with a little ball over here or in the corner but it never uh, continues so if that's happening to you the only way to fix it is to download uh... hold on hold on uh... you need some program uh... i read this about this online it it wasn't that uh... that uh... solution wasn't popular or it wasn't um very it very well known uh but it does fix it it worked for me so uh you go to here dposoft.net get hd regenerator download it and uh the version that you download is a free trial um you will only be able to fix one error uh this pro what this program does is it overwrites uh, it's advertised as a and so what I was saying is yeah, you'll have to download this um, what it does it says uh, it repairs back se sectors it really doesn't repair anything at all uh, just uh, rewrite it but it's the only program that does this for I try to find alternatives that were free because this is a 99 uh, dollar program but uh, there are no alternatives so this is the only one so um no free trial if you have one error. If you have more than one, you will have to buy it. Or just, uh, you know, the first, first result in a torn site. <laughs> uh, just be careful. I, I, uh, I'm not sure if that one has viruses. I, uh, I checked it out. Not sure. <laughs> so, um, once you do that, uh, this is the program. This this HD once you install it, this should be the program. Um, what you want to do is click here, uh, this button. It should take you to uh, this page. Oh, uh, what you will have to do before this is uh, take the PS3 out of the hard drive, connect it to a computer, uh, just like a regular hard drive. You shouldn't need that much if you have a desktop. All you need is a SATA cable and a power ca uh, SATA power cable, which should be. 
you should have one inside of there, an extra one. All right, so what you want to do is uh, click your drive, and then click it here, and then you start the process. This little window will pop up. You want to do, do number two, and then you want to do one, and it should scan it like that. It'll fix the sectors automatically once it's done. All you have to do is pop it back into your PlayStation, and then uh, the same window will appear about the file system described. Press X, and this time it will complete it. Worked like a charm for me first time, so it works. I got my word.